The moment we've all been waiting for, the HP NV16 versus the HP Omen 16. Which laptop is right for you? Do you wanna go with a more premium build aesthetic or do you want the powerful workhorse that is known as the HP Omen? However, you got the really bouncy screen and the screen flex and the wiggles and all you have is an aluminum keyboard deck rather than this entire aluminum chassis. All right, so there's a lot to cover in this video. Let's just get right into it. First and foremost, both of these laptops are, are equipped with the i7-12700H and RTX 3060s. They would seemingly get the same performance. However, you'll see later in the benchmarks that they do not. One is more powerful, and we'll talk about why that is in the benchmarks uh, later in the video. But first, let's get to like the build quality, the usability, the specs, the ports, the specs. I already covered the specs, the ports. The weight and thickness of these two laptops is similar. The HP Envy is slightly thinner and a little bit on the lighter side, but barely. I mean, actually, as I'm holding them in both hands, they almost feel the exact same. So we'll let the weight and thickness come up on the screen and confirm that for you. Now, as far as the ports are concerned, I actually like the port selection better on the HP Omen. As you can see on the HP Envy, we have a micro SD card slot versus the HP Omen with the full size SD card slot. We have a headphone jack on each laptop, and then we have a USB type A on the HP Envy. Whereas with the HP Omen, we have a network port, USB type A, mini display port, full size HDMI, and a USB type C. Now on the other side of each of the laptops, the right side panel, you can see we do come through with the HDMI and two USB type C's as well as a USB type A. But we have two USB type A's here on the HP Omen. And remember, all of that has been added to the mini display port, the full size SD card, and the network port. So as far as connectivity is concerned, the HP Omen just outshines the HP NV16. But I will say that I think the build materials on the HP Envy will be a lot more durable than on the HP Omen. Let's go ahead and open the screens here with one hand. Pretty easy to do. But I will say that both of these laptops have quite a bit of screen bounce. Now, if you're looking for a lack of screen flex, I would go with the HP Envy, which barely has any screen flex. Compared to the HP Omen, that has quite a bit of screen flex. It's very screen flexy. Uh, I do like the hinge on the HP Envy as compared to the HP Omen. It has this long hinge that really eliminates a lot of the screen flex on the bottom, whereas the HP Omen has just the two hinges on the side here, so each of the sides, and it allows the screen to flex quite a bit at the bottom. So as far as the assembly and build quality to the laptops, the HP Envy, that's where it's really winning out. Now, going ahead and looking at the inside of the laptops, you can see that the HP Omen actually opens up a little bit farther than the Envy. It's uh, maybe another 10 degrees uh, further. So it is kind of nice how you can maybe get a little closer to you and open it up a bit more. Uh, but overall, it's, it's a minimal difference. Now, one of the big standout features of the HP Envy is the 16 by 10 aspect ratio 2K screen. The HD Omen is a full HD screen, 1920 by 1080, whereas the HP Envy is the 2.5K display and the resolution on that is 3840 by 2400. Now, it's gonna be more color accurate as well. Your darks are gonna be darker, your brights are gonna be brighter, and your colors are gonna be richer on the HP Envy. So as a maybe graphic designer or digital artist or photographer, that's where you may lean towards the HP Envy. Maybe you don't need all that workhorse beast powerhouse stuff that the HP Omen brings. We'll talk about that again in just a few minutes when we get into the performance section of this video. Um, but for the color gamut range and color accuracy, those have been up on the screen. So you can see that the Envy is, is much more color accurate, especially in that Adobe RGB and the DCI P3. Now, as far as the battery life is concerned, the on-the-go friendliness, the HP Envy wins out there, but only by just a little bit. It's not massively better as in regards to battery life, but it does win out. So if you're looking for battery life, I would go for the HP Omen. Now, speaking of, you know, kind of some of the differences in the functionality, let's talk about the thermals. So the thermals are something that we see better results in the HP Envy, but pretty great results in the HP Omen as well. Um, this year, Intel 12th Gen has shown us very good thermal results. And so it is nice to see that both of these laptops do perform well and keep the temperatures low. You can see the 4K export thermals and fan modes coming up on the screen for each of the laptops. 
And you see that the HP Envy does have slightly cooler thermals, but not by a whole lot. Um, and also it does keep below the 45 decibel fan noise where you can see the HP Omen pops above the 45 decibel fan noise for certain settings. That's another thing I wanted to point out, the HP Envy does not have you know, the pre-installed like HP Omen command center, so you don't have as much control over the fan modes. And I honestly believe we could have even gotten better battery life out of the HP Envy if we had something like that installed. But that's where you're gonna see more performance come out of the HP Omen once we hit the full on benchmarks. I'm freaking stoked about the Patreon that we're about to launch, absolutely. We're launching a freaking Patreon and you should join because it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have never before seen content on the channel. Patreon, not channel, channel's YouTube. So why is this content not being posted to YouTube? Well, the answer is really simple. I know that there is a tight group of loyal followers that follow my content and I wanna reward and be a part of the tight, loyal community that we have been building here as we've been reaching 85,000 subscribers. And I wanna go deeper with you guys. I wanna do live Q and A's. I wanna get face to face with you and chat in a live video call with my most faithful subscribers. I wanna repurpose that content and put it on my channel so you can then be featured in my channel with me. I want to do exclusive giveaways that I can't just launch to the masses of communities. There's sometimes I get to keep laptops, but I don't need them. And so it's a place for me to basically just give back to my most loyal community followers. Now, the next thing we're gonna look at is the webcam. Which one has a better webcam? Here's a quick sample of each of the webcams for you to check out for yourself. This is the webcam on the HP NV16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. The webcam for the HP Omen, obviously you're hearing the audio right now. It is a little grainy in the background, but the color of the skin tones seems very natural. And so it doesn't make you really orange or super blue or green. So I really like that about it. And in regards to the audio experience, so the speakers on these laptops, we have some upward facing speakers on the HP Envy, but we don't have upward facing speakers on the HP Omen. Here's a quick audio sample for each of those as well. Now the keyboard on each of the laptops is very similar. They have very similar keyboard arrangements in the main cluster of the actual QRT keyboard. Uh, and then you have a different side cluster here on the HP Omen compared to the HP Envy. I love that they gave us large full size shift keys on both of the laptops. I really dislike it when I get two thirds shift keys because I always end up missing that shift key. So I'd rather have the smaller arrow keys like we have here on the Envy than say giving me a three fourth shift key or two thirds, whatever you want to say. We have all these different home end pause, insert buttons, print screen over here on the Omen. And those are kind of lined up here on the HP Envy. Again, you can jump quickly into the command center here with this button on the Omen. But like I said, no command center here on the HP Envy. Now, as far as the track pads are concerned, they are identical track pads, um, same size, all the jazz, I wish they were slightly bigger, um, just a little bit, because if you look at something like the M16 or the G15 or the G14 from Asus, they've got these nice, slightly larger track pads. These are good size track pads. I wouldn't say that these are small. They just could be bigger. Now, in regards to what it sounds like to click the trackpad and use the keyboard, here's a quick audio sample for you. All right, without further ado, let's get into the main event, and that is the performance comparison between the HP Envy and the HP Omen 16. Now again, like I mentioned earlier, the HP Omen and the HP Envy have the exact same specifications for this review. We have 16 gigs of RAM, we have the RTX 3060, and we have the i7-12700H. And looking at the simulated benchmarks, you can see that the HP Omen starts out as being the more optimized computer, even in simulated benchmarks. You can see that it ends up above the HP Envy on 
each of the Geekbench single core and multi-core, Cinebench R20 and Cinebench R23. The only place that they flip-flop for a second is the Cinebench R23 single core. So it is good to know that you're gonna get full single core performance whether you use the HP Omen or you use the HP Envy. Now let's move into the full on real world benchmarks, which is where I feel like brings you guys the most value. Starting things off in Blender, you can see that these laptops actually score near the standard benchmark for an i7-12700H and an RTX 3060. You see that the Lenovo Legion 5i Pro comes in at a 637, HP Omen is 624, and the HP NV16 of 573. So the HP NV kind of picks up the tail end of these three laptops. So if you're looking to do a little bit better in Blender, I would go for the HP Omen. Now moving on to 3D modeling, we're gonna look at Autodesk 3ds Max. And as you can see, we have a 192 out of the HP Omen and a 154 out of the HP Envy. Not a massive difference, but if you're doing 3D modeling as something that is on the regular basis, I would definitely lean you towards the HP Omen to give you that extra bump in smoothness and performance inside of the program. That's not saying that the HP Envy wouldn't be able to handle it well, it just wouldn't run as smoothly as say inside of the HP Omen. Moving on to Autodesk Maya, you can see that we have a 202 versus a 244, basically the same spread. And if you watch my full review of the HP Envy, really this laptop is still standing out most as far as its premium aesthetic and build quality as it is for its optimization of the components. The focus on this was quiet fan noise, cool thermals, and less of maximizing all the power out of the components that are in it, that i7-12700H and the RTX 3060. That is where the HP Omen comes in. It wants to maximize the performance of the components inside of the computer. That's why we're seeing it score better on most of these tests. Moving on to PTC Creo, you can see once again, the HP Omen scores a 185 versus the HP Envy's 156. And lastly, in SolidWorks, the standard for the i7-12700H and RTX 3060 is usually around the 90s to 100s. What we're seeing here is a 77 out of the HP Envy and a 91 out of the HP Omen. Honestly, wouldn't recommend really either of these laptops if you're a big SolidWorks user. I would get a laptop that's equipped with either a workstation GPU or a Ryzen RX GPU. That's my recommendation for something along those lines. Now moving on to Photoshop, the HP Envy scores an 827 and the HP Omen scores a 957. Honestly, anything above the 700s would be good. If I were you personally, and I'm gonna be a big Photoshop user, let's say I'm a photographer, graphic designer, or you know digital artist, I would lean you towards the HP Envy with the higher quality screen, better build quality, and a quieter, cooler machine. Plus, better battery life. That would be my pick. Um, this is actually gonna get you know fantastic performance. It's gonna technically perform better based on the Puget Systems benchmark. But there's plenty of performance in this laptop and it comes with the extra features you need to make a better creator laptop for that specific use case. Now moving on to After Effects, you can see that the HP Omen is the better After Effects laptop. So if you are a big time After Effects user, you do a lot of heavy lifting in After Effects, I would lean you towards the HP Omen. However, if you're doing After Effects projects and you need a lot of color accuracy in your projects, maybe their projects are not as heavy. And what I mean by heavy is they're not using as many layers or any, as many effects. Um, they're more simple After Effects projects. The Envy would be great, plus you have the color accurate screen. So it'd be my recommendation there. Much more powerful workhorse, still powerful, but not as powerful, but gives you some of the extra benefits and features. All right, now moving forward into Premiere Pro playback for both the HP Omen and the HP Envy. The HP Omen has much better playback as regards to 6K. Both have great 4K playback. You'll see each of the charts coming up on the screen of 4K. 6K B raw and 6K red. And you'll see that the HP Omen has less drop frames in the 6K category than the HP Envy does. Both of the laptops would be great for 4K. The HP Omen would be the laptop I would choose for 6K. Uh, moving on to the 4K export times, you're gonna see all the different laptops up on the screen, specifically comparing the HP Envy and the HP Omen. You can see a two minute and 38 second export time 
uh, versus a three minute and 50 second export time. So a whole minute. Now this is a nine minute 4K clip. So if you were to extend this you know, project to an hour long, it would take about, uh, let's see, 56, over six minutes, six to 10 minutes longer to export that. So that could be a substantial time difference for you. Um, if you're trying to save time, be more optimized, the HP Omen would be the better pick. However, both will work well for 4K, but like I mentioned, 6K, get only towards the HP Omen. Moving on to the 6K export times, you can see the HP Omen scores a 1624, where the HP Envy scores a 2348. Again, why I would recommend the HP Omen for 6K video editing over the HP Envy. Now, if you're looking at DaVinci Resolve, honestly, either laptop would work well because as you can see, they're both about an eight minute export time for the 4K out of DaVinci Resolve. They'll both have smooth playback. Resolve uh, is a little bit more optimized than uh, Premiere Pro as far as the laptop's performance and its needs to have smooth playback in, in DaVinci Resolve. Both laptops will have good playback, but that eight minute export time was, was decent. It wasn't great. I like to see laptops in the six to four minute range to say, yeah, this is like a, a rock on DaVinci Resolve laptop. These were good. They weren't amazing, but they would definitely do the job if you needed them to. So which one should you purchase as a creator? Well, first go ahead and subscribe to make a boy's dream come true. About a hundred thousand subscribers by Christmas. Just, I'll just give you a second. Just go ahead and tap real quick. Okay, if you're a creator that is a digital artist, photographer, graphic designer, 4K video editor, and you want color accuracy and better battery life, without a doubt, I would go for the HP Envy. However, it's gonna be a bit more expensive. I forgot to mention, you can check the live pricing and availability in the links in the description below. So if you're a little bit more on a budget, you don't care as much, I know you still care, you don't care as much about the color accuracy, color gamut range, and the build quality, you just want a computer that performs very well, so be great as well. Let's say you're doing 3D modeling more uh, than just kind of, you know, it's kind of a hobby you're kind of interested in. Let's say it's like what you want to do. You're going to school for it or it's your, it's your career. The HP Omen would be the way to go. Motion graphics, 3D modeling, 6K video editing, the HP Omen. So that's really the recommendation that I would make between these two laptops. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes this video has brought you some value and get the subs for 100,000 at Christmas. I'll see you here in the next one.